Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason you're getting this pop-up that says unable to join the network or unable to join the Wi-Fi network of whatever your Wi-Fi network name is. I'm going to tell you this is a very easy thing to fix, but it really comes down to which specific position you're in. Because on one hand it's pretty easy, on the other hand not so much. So what you're going to have to do is double and triple and quadruple check that you're connecting to the right Wi-Fi name and you're connecting to the right Wi-Fi password. So what does this mean? Well, you want to make your way over to your settings application like this. You want to go under your Wi-Fi section here and you want to go ahead and just make sure that you're connecting to the right Wi-Fi and you're connecting to the right, you know, password as well. So type in the password correctly, type in the Wi-Fi correctly, and that can honestly probably be the problem. If you just may just have gotten the wrong password, you may be typing in the wrong password. If you have somebody else that has an iPhone around you, you can have them go ahead and share the Wi-Fi password to you as well. So that's another way to go ahead and counteract this. But I've been in so many situations where people have had this issue you and pretty much the easiest way to fix it is just by retyping in the password and that will pretty much end up fixing it for probably a majority of people out there. Now for some reason that doesn't work. Another thing I'd recommend doing is double checking the Wi-Fi name, make sure you're connected to the right Wi-Fi, but you may also have a random issue with your Wi-Fi network right now where for some reason the Wi-Fi towers are down. So what does this mean? Well sometimes if you have you know whatever Wi-Fi provider you have around you, you may have to go ahead and call them and just double check that wi your Wi-Fi and just the network towers in general aren't actually down or disabled because just in case they are, it really doesn't matter what you do, there's nothing you can do to pretty much fix that. You're going to have to wait until they send a technician out to fix that issue. I've been in so many situations where for some reason that was the issue and it was so annoying and pretty much I had to wait a long time for them to fix it. They eventually fixed it but that's pretty much another thing you have to do and for some reason that's still not working. I'd recommend rebooting your iPhone. So go ahead and hold up the buttons that you normally would, volume up and the power button. You want to go ahead and slide to power off and you want to go ahead and see if that ended up fixing it. Like I mentioned, I do think for a lot of people out there, that can probably fix it too. If you have the opportunity though to connect to a different Wi-Fi or you're able to go to like some new local place that has free Wi-Fi, you may want to go ahead and temporarily connect to there too. And you want to go ahead and update your iPhone. So if you don't feel comfortable updating your iPhone via your cell tower, you know, your cell signal data, well, you can go into your iPhone, you can click on general, you can click software update. And if you're connected to another Wi-Fi, you can download and install the latest update that you have on your phone. And that's another way you can go ahead and fix this issue. Again, it's not a guarantee, but it is another thing you can do to pretty much hopefully fix this issue in the long run. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.